Hey guys and welcome to this clean with me and relaxing night vlog. In this video, I'm first going to be just tidying up and cleaning my kitchen and dining area. The house at this point was still in the middle of having a few projects done, so it is not completely finished. But during this time, I wanted to make sure that the kitchen and dining room space was spotless and ready to be used again for cooking. So I just started off by wiping off the wooden kitchen table and I'm just using some dish soap and water to wipe off the dishwasher and some of the cabinet handles. I'm also wiping off the outside of the oven and the rest of the kitchen was pretty much clean as it was. There wasn't any dishes to do. I already had done those before I started filming and they were drying on the counter but I just wanted to make sure all of the surfaces were wiped off including the cabinets, the stove, the oven, and all of the countertops. I also wiped off the windowsill and made sure that the area surrounding the sink was clean as well. And then I just had the window open, letting some fresh air in. It is turning springtime, which I'm so excited for. This is one of my favorite seasons, and I just really enjoy how the weather is getting warmer. Later on the same night, we decided to make some of these quesadillas. This is just using a low carb spinach wrap, some Fiesta blend cheese, some mixed vegetables that I had prepared earlier. So this includes some bell pepper, mushrooms, and jalapeno, some ground beef and spinach. In this quesadilla that I'm making right now, I just chose to do the ground beef and spinach. And this is such a great little snack to have on a Friday night where you don't feel like eating something super healthy, but you still want something that's going to taste good and be satiating. I like to cook these pretty crispy, so I just allow these to cook a few minutes on each side with a little bit of butter, and we actually ended up eating some chocolate as well. This is just a great value chocolate bar that is similar to a Three Musketeers, but it has caramel. This was such a chill, cozy night. We just cuddled with the dog a little bit and then we played video games and I edited my videos. And then later on in the night, I wanted to pamper myself with a nice relaxing bath and skincare routine. After such a long week of doing my clinical rotation from eight to five, as well as studying after work, I really just like to unwind and relax on Friday evenings. That way I can de-stress and just calm myself after a long stressful week. So for my pamper routine, I'm just going to be brushing my hair just to distribute all of the oils and promote hair growth. And then I'm pulling it back in a neat bun and using this cute headband from Dollar Tree to keep the hair out of my face. I'm going to be cleaning the bathtub. I'm just using this cereal container here that I fill up with water and just coat the whole bathtub. And to clean it, I'm just using some dish soap because it wasn't that dirty. I'm also going to be using a bathroom cleaner spray as well, but I just wanted to keep it simple and do just enough to sanitize the bath and scrub it down to get off all of the soap scum. Taking a bath lowers my blood pressure and just makes me feel so relaxed. It is one of my favorite things to do to de-stress and just unwind. Once everything is scrubbed down, I'm going to be using that same container and just rinsing off all of the bathtub surfaces with some hot water, making sure that all of the bleach and soap is down the drain. And this is going to provide me with a nice clean bath ready to relax in. I'm going to light this Christmas pine scented candle and just relax in the dark in the warm water as I cleanse myself and just unwind from the day. I like to add some shea butter to the bath water just to give my skin some extra moisture. This is homemade shea butter using natural African shea butter and olive oil. I will have the recipe for this linked down below. 
This is one of my favorite products that I started using ever since I started making it. I use it in the bath, I use it on my skin and body, and I've also recently been using it on my scalp and hair just for some extra moisture and to give myself a nice relaxing scalp massage. I just put a little bit of the butter on my fingertips and I work in the product into my scalp and just really massage my head muscles. And this promotes hair growth because it promotes blood circulating to the scalp, which helps the hair grow. It's also super hydrating and great for split ends and dry hair just to bring back that bounce and moisture. I'm going to end this relaxing night vlog just by doing my skincare. I already applied some hyaluronic acid serum as soon as I got out of the bath to lock in the moisture. I'm then following that up 20 or 30 minutes later with some tretinoin cream, 0.05%. I use this for my acne. This helps to renew my skin cells and increase cell turnover so that my pores don't get as clogged. I'm also going to be applying some of this Rescue Balm by the brand Hero. This is a post blemish recovery cream that really helps reduce the redness and inflammation after having a blemish. My skin is pretty clear right now, but I tend to have breakouts intermittent. So this product is definitely a lifesaver when I have blemishes that pop up. I'm going to be locking in all of the moisture with some Egyptian magic cream. This contains the ingredients olive oil, beeswax, honey, bee pollen, royal jelly, and propolis. And this is just super hydrating for my skin and I love using it as a night cream. That is going to bring us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this relaxing night and clean with me and I will see you soon in the next video.